In today's fast-paced and often materialistic world, living below your means might seem like an antiquated notion. However, adopting this lifestyle is more relevant and beneficial than ever, offering not only financial peace of mind, but also a path to genuine contentment and freedom. The essence of living below your means is not about depriving oneself, but rather about mastering the art of saving, spending wisely, and making the most of what you have. It's about creating a sustainable, financially secure life that aligns with your values and long-term goals. This approach can lead to increased savings, reduced financial stress, and the opportunity to invest in experiences and assets that truly matter. The following 10 saving habits are designed to guide you on this rewarding journey, providing practical strategies to harness your financial power and live a fulfilling life without succumbing to the pressures of consumerism. Point number 10, automate your savings. One of the most efficient strategies to ensure you consistently live below your means is to automate your savings. By setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account, you effortlessly build your savings without having to think about it every month. This habit does not just enforce discipline in managing your finances. It also embraces the out of sight, out of mind principle, effectively reducing the temptation to spend what you should be saving. Automating your savings can be tailored to align with your payday, ensuring that saving takes precedence over other expenditures. Additionally, it allows for flexibility to adjust the amount saved as your financial situation changes, keeping your goals realistic and attainable. This method serves as a foundational step towards building a substantial emergency fund, preparing for retirement, and investing in your future. Over time, the accumulative effect of consistent, automated savings can lead to significant financial growth, providing not just security but also the means to achieve your long-term aspirations without succumbing to the pressures of immediate gratifications. Point number nine, spend less than you earn. The principle of spending less than you earn is foundational to living below your means and achieving financial stability. This habit encourages a mindful approach to managing your finances by critically evaluating your needs versus wants and making informed decisions that prioritize financial health over immediate gratification. In practice, spending less than you earn involves creating and adhering to a budget. That outlines essential expenses, discretionary spending, and savings goals. This budget acts as a roadmap to guide your spending patterns, ensuring that you're not only covering your necessary expenses, but also setting aside a portion of your income for savings and investments. By consistently spending less than you earn, you allow yourself the flexibility to adjust to financial setbacks without compromising your savings goals. This habit also promotes the accumulation of wealth over time, providing a buffer against unexpected expenses and the freedom to pursue long-term financial objectives, such as retirement or home ownership. Ultimately, spending less than you earn cultivates a lifestyle that values financial freedom and security, empowering you to make choices that align with your values and goals, rather than being driven by the cycle of earnings and expenditures. Point number eight, reduce or ditch your cable or Netflix subscriptions. In our digital age, entertainment has become a significant monthly expense for many, with cable and streaming subscriptions like Netflix taking a notable share of our discretionary spending. However, one of the strategic ways to live below your means is to evaluate and potentially reduce or eliminate these entertainment expenses. By cutting down on the number of subscriptions or completely ditching cable, you can reallocate these funds towards your savings or investing in experiences that offer more value to your life. This doesn't mean you have to give up on entertainment entirely. Rather, it's about choosing more cost-effective alternatives. For instance, taking advantage of free streaming services, sharing subscriptions with friends or family, or simply prioritizing which services offer you the most content. For your consumption habits can lead to significant monthly savings. Furthermore, reducing screen time can also enrich your life in other ways, encouraging more time spent on hobbies with loved ones or outdoors. The key is to strike a balance between enjoying modern entertainment and maintaining a financially sustainable lifestyle that prioritizes long-term financial health over short-term pleasures. This approach not only aids in living below your means, but also in cultivating a more engaged and fulfilling life. Point number seven, compare prices online before buying anything. In today's digital marketplace, comparing prices online before any purchase has become a crucial habit for those striving to live below their means. This practice not only ensures that you're getting the best deal possible, but also fosters a mindset of conscious spending. By taking the time to research and compare prices across various platforms, you can often find significant price differences for the same or similar products, leading to considerable savings over time. This habit goes beyond just the big ticket items. It applies to everyday purchases as well, including groceries, clothing, and household goods. Additionally, 
Leveraging tools such as price comparison websites, discount apps, and online coupons can amplify your savings, making the most of every dollar you spend. This approach does more than just save money. It encourages a more thoughtful and deliberate approach to consumption, reducing impulse buys, and fostering financial discipline. Furthermore, the savings garnered from this habit can be redirected towards your savings goals, accelerating your journey towards financial independence. In essence, comparing prices online is a simple yet powerful habit. That reinforces the principle of living below your means by ensuring you never pay more than necessary for your purchases. Point number six, find products that do two jobs for the price of one. Adopting the strategy of finding products that serve multiple purposes is not just a smart decision, but a financially savvy one as well. It's a powerful tactic in the arsenal of those looking to live below their means. By selecting items that can fulfill more than one role, you effectively reduce the number of products you need to purchase, thereby saving money. This approach finds its relevance in various aspects of everyday life, from appliances and gadgets to skincare and household items. For instance, a smartphone can double as a camera, eliminating the need for a separate purchase. Similarly, buying a convertible sofa bed can save on buying additional furniture when you have guests. This habit is about streamlining your possessions and focusing on versatility and functionality without sacrificing quality. It challenges the conventional consumer mindset of having a dedicated item for every specific need, promoting instead a more minimalist and intentional approach to purchasing. Over time, this practice can lead to significant savings, contributing to a simpler, less cluttered lifestyle while also bolstering your financial goals. It underscores the importance of thoughtful consumption and investing in products that offer the best value for your money. Point number five, establish a budget. In the realm of saving habits that are crucial for living below one's means, establishing a detailed budget is foundational. A budget is more than just a financial document. It's a strategic tool that enables individuals to gain a comprehensive understanding of their income, expenses, and savings. By itemizing and tracking where every dollar goes, a budget helps to identify areas where spending can be trimmed, thus freeing up more funds for savings or paying off debt. The act of budgeting fosters a consciousness about spending that is critical for anyone looking to live frugally yet fruitfully. It encourages the prioritization of financial goals, whether they're short-term, like saving for a vacation, or long-term, such as accumulating a retirement nest egg. Establishing a budget also instills discipline, as it requires regular review and adjustment to ensure financial objectives are being met. For those committed to living below their means, a budget is not merely a suggestion. It is an essential practice that empowers individuals to take control of their finances and directs them towards financial stability and independence. Point number four, don't use credit cards unless absolutely necessary. In the context of cultivating saving habits to live below one's means, exercising caution with credit card use is paramount. Credit cards, while offering convenience and rewards, can easily lead to financial pitfalls if not managed prudently. The allure of buying now and paying later can foster a culture of impulse spending, causing individuals to accrue debt faster than they can pay it off. This habit contradicts the principle of living below your means, as it encourages spending money that is not yet earned. To avoid falling into this trap, it's advisable to use credit cards only in situations of absolute necessity, such as emergencies or when leveraging rewards points for essential purchases. Additionally, paying the full balance each month to avoid interest charges can help maintain financial health. Without sacrificing credit score benefits, by treating credit cards as a tool rather than a crutch, individuals can enjoy the benefits they offer while staying aligned with their goals of saving more, spending less, and living a financially secure and independent life. This disciplined approach serves as a foundation for building wealth and avoiding the common pitfalls of consumer debt. Point number three, have a plan for unexpected expenses. A crucial element in the strategy to live below one's means involves preparing for the unpredictable. Unexpected expenses, ranging from emergency medical costs to sudden car repairs, can swiftly derail one's financial stability if not anticipated. Having a plan in place for such unforeseen costs is not just wise, it's essential for maintaining a cushion that safeguards against dipping into savings meant for future goals. Or worse, resorting to high-interest debt options. The foundation of this plan begins with establishing an emergency fund, a dedicated savings account. That is easily accessible yet separate from other savings. Financial experts often recommend setting aside three to six months worth of living expenses to cover emergencies. This reserve acts as a financial buffer, absorbing shocks without compromising your overall financial plan. It's also prudent to regularly review and adjust this fund as your financial situation evolves, ensuring it remains adequate for your needs. 
By integrating the practice of preparing for unexpected expenses into your saving habits, you create an additional layer of financial security that complements your efforts to live below your means, ensuring that you are not just surviving from paycheck to paycheck, but thriving with a robust safety net in place. Point number two, limit yourself to two new purchases a month. In the pursuit of living below one's means, self-imposed limitations on purchasing can significantly impact one's financial health. The mantra of limiting oneself to only two new purchases a month is a disciplined approach. That encourages individuals to distinguish between wants and needs. This strategy not only curtails impulse buying, but also promotes deeper consideration and appreciation of each purchase. By enforcing this rule, it becomes imperative to prioritize what truly adds value to life, leading to more thoughtful spending and savings. For example, instead of succumbing to the temptation of the latest electronic gadget or fashion trend, this habit urges you to reflect on whether these purchases align with your long-term financial goals. Additionally, this practice can spur creativity and resourcefulness, as one might seek alternatives like utilizing existing items, borrowing, or buying secondhand. Notably, it's not about deprivation, but about making intentional choices that bolster financial freedom and contentment. Over time, this habit cultivates a mindset that favors quality over quantity, savings over spending, ultimately steering individuals toward a more sustainable and financially independent lifestyle. Point number one, shop secondhand. Shopping secondhand is a key practice in the arsenal of strategies aimed at living below one's means. This method extends far beyond merely saving money. It's about adopting a lifestyle that values sustainability, creativity, and wise financial stewardship. By choosing to purchase pre-owned items, you're not only taking advantage of significantly reduced prices, but also contributing to the reduction of waste and the demand for new production of goods. From clothing and furniture to electronics and vehicles, the second-hand market offers an array of items that can meet needs and wants without compromising on quality. Furthermore, shopping second-hand encourages a cycle of reusing and recycling, which benefits both the environment and the economy. It also opens up opportunities to find unique and vintage items that are not available off the shelf in regular stores. Cultivating the habit of looking for secondhand options before, making a new purchase not only stretches the budget further, but also instills a sense of financial discipline and resourcefulness. Over time, this approach can lead to significant savings, reducing the strain on personal finances, and advancing one's financial goals of living a fulfilling life within their means. In conclusion, Living below one's means is an empowering strategy that not only secures financial freedom, but aligns with a sustainable, intentional lifestyle. These strategies, from leveraging credit cards wisely, planning for the unexpected, limiting new purchases, to shopping secondhand, serve as pillars for building a life not just confined, to financial survival, but thriving in financial independence and mindful consumption. Each approach, with its unique benefits, paves the way towards achieving your financial goals and cultivating a life of abundance in what truly matters. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Which of these strategies have you found most effective in your pursuit of financial well-being? Or perhaps you have another tip to share that has made a significant impact on your financial lifestyle. Drop a comment below to share your insights and experiences. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on living a financially savvy life. Your support helps us create more content designed to empower you on your financial journey. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an informative video. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.